Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I'm actually going to be away for a few days. I have some family stuff going on. Uh, so please subscribe to my Telegram channel. It will be in the description box. Uh, I love. There's so much going on, and I can't get to everything, but... I post so many more scriptures of the day on there, encouragement, uh, things that are going on as it pertains to end times Bible prophecy. It will be in the description box. So if you don't have a telegram, I encourage you to uh, subscribe. It's free. Uh, enjoy my channel. Uh, and if you do have a telegram, again, the link will be in the description box. So please uh, subscribe so you can be a part of that. But folks, he just did it. He just said it. Yair Lapid, the prime minister of Israel, just stood before the United Nations today at the 77th United Nations General Assembly in New York and called for a two-state solution with the Palestinians. Which, there is no sugarcoating this. What he just did is a call to divide God's land. But you know what's amazing, folks? I was actually texting with my brother in Christ, Tyler, over at Generation 2434 channel. Uh, during the United Nations speeches that were going on earlier. And the amount of times that you heard them say peace and safety, per peace and security was off the charts, especially with Lapid. Lapid said peace and safety, peace and security when he stood before the UN. But the other countries that delivered their speeches, the amount of times they said peace and safety and peace and security was off the charts. And why does this get my attention? Well, again, in the book of 1 Thessalonians, Chapter 5, verse 3, the Apostle Paul says, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that, that they should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness." So let's jump right to it. Again, we were watching to say what he would actually say in this speech, uh, but the news just came out recently from the Times of Israel. At the United Nations, Lapid, the Prime Minister of Israel, calls for two-state solution, says world-choosing easy option on Iran. And then this just came in from Israel National News, Arut Sheva. Lapid, at the United Nations, Israel will accept a Palestinian state on the condition it be peaceful. Let me read some of this to you. Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid declared his support for the two-state solution while calling on the Palestinian Authority and the Arab world to make peace with Israel during his speech to the United Nations General Assembly today. Turning to the peace process with the Palestinian Authority, Lapid said that Israel's economic and military strength allows us to protect ourselves, but it also shows us something else, to strive for peace with the entire Arab world and with our closest neighbors, the Palestinians. He declared his support for the two-state solution, stating that an agreement with the Palestinians based on two states for two peoples is the right thing for Israel's security, for Israel's economy, and for the future of our children. Peace is not a compromise. It's the most courageous decision we can make. Peace is not weakness. It embodies within it the entire might of human spirit, he said. He said that Israel only has one condition for the establishment of a Palestinian state. That a future Palestinian state will be a peaceful one. That it will not become another terror base from which to threaten the well-being and the very existence of Israel. That we will have the ability to protect the security of all the citizens of Israel at all times. Folks, I'm going to tell you exactly what I see going on right now. You have Yair Lapid, the Prime Minister of Israel, which just stood before the United Nations today at the 77th UN General Assembly, and he just called for a two-state solution with the Palestinians, and he only said one condition, that it be a peaceful one. Well, this is what I can tell you, right? Right now, it's not peaceful. What I see coming is the surrounding enemies of Israel are about to attack Israel. Hamas, um, Islamic Jihad, Hezbollah, 
All of them we see meeting together, joining together, conspiring together. There, we see this war that is coming against Israel. That There's no mistaking that. What I see happening is these surrounding enemies are about to attack Israel. And from that war, that's where this peace is going to come from. The Antichrist is going to be the one that makes peace. What we just saw with Lapid calling for a two-state solution, this is not going to promote peace. It's going to promote war. But I believe this war is coming. And very soon, especially once... once uh, this, this, uh, we know that Hezbollah said that if Israel starts extracting gas from the Karish field in the coming days here, that there's nowhere on land or sea its missiles cannot hit in Israel. So Hezbollah is threatening war against Israel right now. But what just happened at the United Nations today? He just did it, folks. He just said it. He called for a two state solution, the first. Prime Minister of Israel to stand before the United Nations General Assembly and call for a two-state solution, which there's no sugarcoating it, that is trying to divide God's land. Very bad things happen when you try to divide God's land. But what I see coming is this war against Israel. The only way there's going to be peace is after this war. That's when the Antichrist will come onto the world scene after the rapture. He's going to make order out of chaos. He's going to fix all the problems. And then he's going to have an answer. He's going to confirm the covenant with many for one week, a week of years, seven years, to start the seven-year tribulation period. But Lapid did this in front of the United Nations, in front of many at the United Nations. So what we just saw, I believe absolutely, this is another birthing pang to the coming Daniel 9.27 covenant. It's amazing what we're watching, folks. Keep watching, because if we're seeing the stage continuing to get set up for the Daniel 9.27 covenant, if we see the continued call for peace and safety, peace and security, and we're told in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And we see this war taking shape against the nation of Israel. Folks, we are a lot closer than people realize to the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ. Keep watching with me. Again, uh, subscribe to my Telegram channel. I'm going to update you over the next few days as much as I can on there because things are happening almost on a secondly basis now. But what we just saw today, it is huge. It is huge. Um, And if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you're running out of time. You need to get saved right now. Jesus is coming soon. You need to put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. You need to believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And you need to do it now because tomorrow is not promised. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. Get saved right now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me, and God bless you all.